Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the unboxing of these two King Tech 210 G4 turbines that we just received today. Exciting, exciting, exciting. Uh, this is your first time here, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Also, smash that like button, give the video a thumbs up. We are going to unbox these engines. We are going to um, do a quick review on the engines as far as how, is they, how they look and everything. And then we're also going to run these two engines as well too. Uh, in case you haven't heard, one of these engines is going in the L39 that we built last year. Um, I'll link right above here wherever it shows up to the, uh, the playlist. And um, if you haven't seen the L39 video, feel free to watch it. It's, it's a big long series to put that thing together. So one of these 210s is going in that engine. The other 210 is going in my new project, which for now is a bit of a secret. Uh, it'll be unveiled soon. Hopefully we get to order it soon. Um, my F18, which is right there, I'll show you guys. My TAMS F18, which is an eighth scale F18, is for sale. Um, I've got this posted on RC Universe, RC Canada, RC Groups. Uh, it's also on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, all the details are on there. If you are interested in knowing the details and you haven't seen it, um, shoot me an email. It's listed down below in the video description, and uh, I'll send you the details. But uh, I've got it listed for a real good price. I'm holding back ordering the new project until we sell this. So if you guys are at all interested, um, shoot me a message. Of course, if you're watching this video like, you know, in the future at some point, uh, the plane's no longer for sale. But uh, um, anyways, it is for sale. Without further ado though guys, let's get into the unboxing of these turbines and see what we have in store. All right, so we got two King Tech 210 turbines, well packaged. These were actually shipped from Taiwan. That. Number one. And number two. So on the side of the box is King Tech 210 G4 and the serial number and all that stuff. So let's order or let's open the lower serial number first. All right guys, so she's open. That's what the box looks like. So we've got the new uh, Gen 4 manual, uh, the King Tech stickers, and all the standard manual stuff. Of course, it's a little bit changed because of the Gen 4. You can see that there. Okay, and there it is, unpackaged. So, Couple things that I know that have changed on this engine is the cable system. Now we've ordered longer cables because I know my plane and the other plane are probably gonna need longer cables. I think these are the longer ones, I'm not sure. But anyways, this is the cable now that uh, goes from the um, ECU to the turbine. That's it. So it's a bus system, which is awesome. We've got the King Tech, the standard 800 fuel pump. That's all normal stuff. We've got our standard accessories. Yes, so these were the longer cables that I ordered because there's the standard cable there. So we'll, um, we'll open up this bag separate actually. And we've got our data terminal, which is just the standard King Tech data terminal. And we've got the new G4 ECUs. There we go. 
So I'll do a close up on this stuff as well. Um, but uh, that's what it uh, what it looks like. So I'll show you guys a close up of that in a second. And then we have the G4 turbine. So that's what's in the box, guys. Let me readjust the camera and we'll do some uh, close up stuff. All right. So let's up op let's open up the bits and bytes bag here so we can see what uh, what we have. So we've got uh, fuel tubing, we've got some six mil, four mil Festo tubing. We've got the standard cable setup. So let's open this guy up so we can actually see what uh, what's different, what we have going on here. Okay, so we've got our cable to go from um, the receiver to the uh, throttle input. We've got that cable, which is probably the fuel pump cable. We've got this cable, which is probably the battery cable. And then we've got this cable, which is probably the one that goes from the uh, ECU to the turbine. So let's look at the ECU and confirm all that stuff. So everything's clearly labeled on the side. And uh, basically there's no way to screw this up because all the plugs are completely different. I'll show you guys there. You can see that they're all different, okay? So we've got our pump cable, which is should be this guy. Yep. So that's pretty straightforward. So there's our pump cable. We've got our power lead, which is the middle one. And that's pretty straightforward. Okay. So that goes to your turbine battery. And then we've got our bus cable, which goes from the, uh, the ECU to the turbine. So that's the only cable that goes to the turbine. And then we're gonna have one fuel input that goes to the turbine as well too. So awesome, clean setup. That's great. Um, Festo valve, the four mil Festo valve, that's standard with the, uh, the King Tech stuff. We've got the different, um, different fittings. And this goes on the actual engine itself. I'll show you guys that. But basically we've got uh, um, a straight Festo fitting. The L-Bend comes installed on the engine, so you can install whatever one you want. Uh, this is probably the, <laughs> well, it's funny that this is the biggest change. I shouldn't say it's the biggest change, but um, you can see here, you've got flow direction instructions but they've also printed an arrow on the fuel filter. Hopefully the camera picks that up. So there's a lot of people that would install these things backwards. If your filter happens to not have a arrow or you're using an older King Tech, basically the fuel you can see there always goes from the outside of the bucket to the inside of the bucket. So if you, if you think about the, the fuel filter as a bucket, because uh, it's got that same shape, it goes from the outside of the bucket into the bucket. Okay, that's the, that's the way I, I always remember it, but nice looking filter. It looks like they've, uh, they've also upsized it a little bit as well too, which is, is nice. So anyways, that's cool to see. Okay, so our extended cable here that I ordered, a oh, fuel pump, that's standard. I'm not gonna pull that out of the package. But our, I think this is 200 centimeters. Nice and long. Um, let's see, which one goes to the turbine? So if you're talking about inches for, so if you guys are talking about inches, I know a lot of you are in inches. Uh, the standard cable is, 15 and 10, so about 25 inches long is the standard cable, okay? And the longer cable is from the end of the yellow, so we've got 15, 30, 45, so 50 inches long. 
So a very, very big difference on the, uh, the cable size. All right, guys, so last thing we'll look at here, and the biggest thing is the actual engine. So as per normal, they come wrapped in their heavy plastic cover. And that is our G4 engine. So the, those other fittings they come with, um, your setup may work better with a straight uh, Festo fitting or might work better with the L-Bend that comes installed. But anyways, that's uh, that's there. Um, what do we got here that looks different? Well, the engine looks good. Um, cables really, really small. Okay, we still have the small... Uh, or sorry, not still, we have the new small bus cable that's installed. Um, the serial numbers are nicely stamped now as well too, or etched on there. They're not done with like a, a Dremel. We still have Mr. Ali Machinchi's uh, signature on there and K210 G4. So one of the big changes with the, uh, the new G4s that I know of is number one, a brushless starter motor. Um, the, um, the fuel pump still normal. And then we've got the FOD screen um, already attached to the front of the engine, which is a real cool setup. Um, I know there were some issues with the first FOD screens. This one looks like it's been epoxied nicely on there. So shouldn't be any issues with that. And I can see epoxy going all the way down the rails and everything. Um, one of the changes that I noticed right away is the um, the ramp going into the um, the compressor is polished as well, and then we've got the polished compressor. So really nice, clean looking setup. Uh, very excited to get this installed in the L39, and uh, also uh, get my new project ordered and uh, have that installed in my new project. So, all right, guys. So that's a quick rundown of the uh, the King Tech K210 G4 engine. Um, we are going to be running this engine as well too. That'll be the next step. I'm actually gonna run both of the engines. So one of these is going in the L39, as I've mentioned. One's going in my new project. Uh, I wanna make sure that they both run without any hiccups, that kind of stuff. Um, the one that's going in the L39 should be installed probably in the next week. But the one that's going in my project, um, who knows how long that's gonna take because we need to sell the F-18 first. So another little plug for my F-18. Uh, there's a flight video I'll link up to here. Uh, when we flew last year at the uh, the Springbank Air Show, and I did a flight with the F-18 in front of about 10,000 people. So check that video out. If you're interested, I'll also link it down below too, and um, you can see how beautiful that plane flies. So, Okay guys, engine has been mounted to the stand. Uh, we've got everything hooked up. It's very, very simple. As I've talked about before, we've got one line going to the, uh, the turbine. We've got our one fuel line going to the turbine our on off valve fuel pump. So uh, we're nice and short here on the connectors going to the uh, the fuel pump and then going to the engine. Um, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna learn the radio to the ECU. Uh, that's step number one. Then step number two, we're gonna add fuel to the, uh, the tank. Then we're gonna prime the system and then we'll do a startup. Okay, so learning the uh, the uh, transmitter to the ECU is quite simple. Radio. Okay, and we're going to go next. RC learn, enter, so number two. So stick up, trim up. So we come to the radio, trim up, all the way, stick up. It says full, and we're going to save that with number two. Stick down, trim down, stick down, trim down. That's the stop position. We're gonna save that. Stick down, trim up. And that's idle. 
Okay, so with stick down trim up, this is kind of an important thing here. This is one thing to be aware of. So on my planes, I don't like to go to the midway point. I like to go all the way to the top. But if we do that on this King Tech, it's got the ex exclamation mark there, right? So if we go down to the middle, then it's ready. Okay, so it says save. So that, uh, what that means to me is I don't want to be going all the way up. So I'm going to save that, but I'm going to redo this, not going all the way to the top. Learn. Okay, so stick up, trim up full. Save. Stick down, trim down. Stick down, trim down. Save. Stick down, trim up. So we'll go to the midpoint and save. There we go. So that's learned. Now it's time to put some fuel in the tank. All right, guys, fuel has been added to the uh, the tank. Now, one thing to be aware of here is I use uh, kerosene or Jet A. Um, from what I know, I think that the King Tech turbines come set up to run diesel. Now, I've already gone through all the settings and taken a quick look at them, and they don't look like they're uh, set up for diesel. But on the first startup, just keep that in mind because if it's shooting flames, that will be uh, that could possibly be the reason. So now we need to prime the uh, the pump. Okay, so test pump. Oh, there we go. So that's one of those things, I guess, test pump, it opens the fuel valve. If you go to prime pump, it doesn't open the fuel valve. And we'll just run fuel right up to the engine. There we go. And off. Okay, so that's it. Total time is zero. And it was run at the factory because we've got a user off, RPM, yada, yada, yada. So, all right, guys, that is it. So we're ready to run this thing. Uh, again, don't know how it's going to, uh, to fire up. We'll see, though. We've got our fire extinguisher handy. I've got my air, my blower, which is probably more useful than the fire extinguisher handy. And uh, let's run this thing and see what happens. So one thing to be aware of, guys, I am going to, uh, while I'm running this, I'm going to close the fuel valve, open it quickly to simulate the restart. Now the restart is turned on on this engine. I just want to uh, have a good view of, uh, of what happens with it. And uh, you guys will be able to see what, uh, if you've never seen the restart before, you'll see what happens um, on the restart system. So, So fuel pump has engaged, we've got ignition, stage one.
There we go, guys. So you saw on the restart there, I just closed it and opened it right away. Now, one thing to be aware of, too, is I didn't um, change my throttle setting. So when I did that, my throttle position was roughly just below half, I think. That's one thing that's different, too, with this engine over the previous ones is the starter motor just... I guess continues to run versus cycling. And the other thing too is if we turn the receiver off, so we'll unplug the receiver, the uh, whole system continues to run until the engine is cool. All right, guys, and that is the new King Tech G4 210 Newton engine. Uh, really, really impressive. One of the things that I really noticed with it that was, uh, I guess, a couple things that I noticed that are different than the previous versions is the uh, the lag from idle to even a blip above idle is real quick. Um, I can't remember what this one was set to as far as the Excel and decel delays, but uh, uh, real, real quick, uh, runs really smooth. That brushless starter works really, really well. Um, works like a starter motor should, but it's nice and small. And um, the auto restart function is great, just like it was on the G2 engines. But uh, overall, great engine. Started really well on kerosene as well, too. Um, I don't know if it would start on diesel. I don't run diesel, so... But uh, everything looked really, really good with the engine, guys. This is the one that we're going to be putting in the L39. Uh, I still have my other engine that I'm going to run. I'll probably do that in the next day or two here. But uh, looks really good, and uh, everything worked really, really well. So that's it, guys. Thanks for tuning into this video. If you have any questions, list them down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. It doesn't cost you anything, and it makes sure that you don't miss any videos that I release. And uh, last thing is don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you in the next video.